We've got a couple of release dates and a game-ending Metal Gear bug. It's September 8th, and here's the news that made the cut for the Daily Glitch. CD Projekt Red has announced the release date for the first Witcher 3 expansion, Hearts of Stone. Set to release on October 13th, the expansion will add over 10 hours of new adventures, introducing new characters, powerful monsters, unique romance, and a brand new storyline shaped by player choices. The content is designed for level 30 characters, so it's best to wait until you're near the end of the game to play through it. In a more unexpected announcement, there will be a limited edition physical version of Hearts of Stone containing a digital download code and two fully playable Gwent decks for the first time. With a Soka tile and Monsters deck, you can play the wonderful tactical card game with actual friends in real life. This is a huge addition to the franchise, as Gwent was formerly a totally single player experience. Of course, players who have purchased the expansion pass will have the opportunity to buy just the Gwent set if they so choose by heading to CD Projekt Red's site, redeemgwent.com. Speaking of release dates, Frontier Development CEO David Braben took to Reddit for an AMA and subtly announced that the Xbox One version of the space combat sim Elite Dangerous will be getting its full console release on October 6th. Originally released on PC in December of last year, the console port was announced as a part of the Xbox One Game Preview Program, Microsoft's answer to early access back at E3. Braben confirmed that players will not be able to carry over their ships and modules, but they will retain their cash value. Be sure to check out Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One when it gets its full release in a few short weeks. Oh, and one more thing. Metal Gear Solid 5 players have stumbled across a cross-platform game-ending save corrupting glitch that was confirmed by Konami this morning. If you want to keep your save from joining all the lost saves in the digital sky, do not bring the bikini-clad agent quiet with you on missions 29 or 42. That's missions 29 or 42. Konami has only announced the bug's existence and has not yet set a timeline for when a patch would be released, but they did confirm that this bug exists across all platforms. That's it for today. Let us know in the comments if you'll be picking up the physical Gwent decks. And if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed, and check out the weekly Glitchfeed podcast right here on YouTube.